Hello everybody, welcome to day 6 of ARD countdown series for NABAR grade 8 only 25. And today's question, let's discuss the first question for yesterday. The first question for yesterday was the key principle of permaculture is. So permaculture in itself, it is made up of two terms. Perma means permanent and then culture means culturing. Okay. So the concept is to mimic the natural ecosystem so that, uh, you know, sustainable agriculture can be done. So here the key principle is that first to take care of the earth so that over exploitation does not happen taking care of people so that their needs can be fulfilled and fair share means all the organism that exists nobody should snatch share of other all should have their own uh, fair share in this nature so that was question number one coming to question number two what is a disadvantage of specialized farming so in specialized farming the farmer aims or the farmer goes for only one type of uh, farming for example if he's uh, he's growing strawberries so only strawberry is doing if he's uh, if is culturing something else only that thing is doing so it has some advantages means input can be better put because only one enterprise is there and then labor is uh, less required skill is uh, skill improved with time so there are some good part but then there are some bad part also or disadvantages also for example here maintenance of soil fertility it becomes difficult because when you grow same type of crop they take up the nutrients and quality of soil it degrades then there are other reasons also if failure occurs then there will be no source of income etc coming to question number three what is a major advantage of integrated farming system so in integrated farming system farmers goes for one, more than one enterprise and the catch in integrated farming system is that these enterprises are interdependent dependent on each other. And mixed farming also farmer can go for more than one enterprise but there are no interdependence but here it is. For example, the waste that is produced by livestock can be used as a manure in the field. Similarly, the waste that is left, the, the stubble that is left in the field after grains are harvested that can be used as fodder for livestock. So here they are interdependent on each other. So that is why, uh, so this is a concept of integrated farming system and here in the option major advantages, so soil uh, fertility is maintained by adding manure and higher income because there are more than one enterprises. Okay. Coming to today's question, question number one, what is the major principle of organic farming? Uh, then what is the ideal CN ratio for composting? And finally, Jaivik Bharat logo is introduced by which of the following organization? That is all for today. We will meet you in next class. Thank you.